Good morning guys. It's been nearly four years since I started and I've said this a few times um, but new followers may not know. When I was diagnosed I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and told that it wasn't a big deal and that I just had to go away and get on with it and I did for about seven years and then I started foggy. On day one I didn't even know what ME stood for. Um, I had to google it and then I had to learn how to say it, then I had to find out what it was. I had absolutely no idea that ME affected 17 million people worldwide, um, and that's a very low estimate. I had no idea that there was 250,000 people just like me in the UK, because my illness was downplayed so much by my GPs, I've now changed GP, GP practice, so it's not the GPs I'm with now, um, and my therapists. They're all very much, if you do this, if you pace yourself and watch your energy, you'll be fine. Well, we all know that that's not right. Um, but yeah, so since day one, I have learnt so much. And I love the fact that many people that follow Foggy have learnt, as I've learnt, um, I found out things along the way. There's symptoms that I had that I didn't know were ME related because my GP never said, oh yeah, you know, you've got CFS, which I detest, I never use that term. Um, you've got ME, so of course you've got, I don't know, of course you've got temperature control issues or whatever. Um, I personally don't feel like anyone at any point has ever sat down and explained to me what my illness is which I know is very similar to a lot of you guys. Um, and I love the fact that through social media, we're able to learn from each other. So for example, this heart thing that I've got going on at the moment, I'm pretty sure is an ME thing because so many of you have ME, uh, sorry, heart problems with your ME. And with my dental talk that I did, I mentioned cardiac issues through that. At the time, I didn't have major heart things going on but now I do I have chest pain I'll call them palpitations but it's more like a really hard tremor um, and just a really really tight feeling which is <laughs> not good um, and I get incredibly breathless very quickly um, but obviously that could just be inactivity I've got absolutely no idea anyway so I've been for my blood test and I have my little badge of honor this morning um, but yes so um, so yeah, so from day one, I've learned so much and when I get emails, and I do get emails daily from sufferers saying thank you very much for everything that you're doing, um, and they do get me every time, thank you very much, um, when I get emails saying I, I've had that symptom for seven years, never even considered it could be an ME thing until I read your blog or until I watched the video that you posted or whatever. Um, so that gives me a warm fuzzy feeling knowing that you guys don't know what your illness is either, um, which is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are experts out there. There are people that study ME. Um, I don't, I don't have time to do that. So I might read things as they crop up on my Twitter feed and I know what it says on the ME Association website, uh, but I'm not a doctor um, and I'm not a ME researcher either. So um, I'm just a sufferer um, who kind of learns about my illness on a daily basis. Um, also with May 12 coming up, I think there's a big distinction that has to be made because quite recently I've come across a few people that have said, I don't understand. Somebody that I work with has got chronic fatigue syndrome, ME, um, but they are nothing like uh, Merrin, uh, the young lady that passed away last year. And these non-sufferers can't grasp that it's exactly the same illness. I think the easiest way to explain it that I've found, um, I don't know if spectrum is the right word, but there's a kind of spectrum of severity. So there's mild ME that I've got on this side, and then there's severe ME on this side. And then in the middle, you've got moderate. Um, in the UK, I got my dad to do the maths, and I can't remember the exact figures, but it's 25% of sufferers have got severe ME. In the UK, that equates to about 60 odd thousand people. 
So that means there's 180 odd thousand people that have got mild to moderate. So the people that you see on a daily basis are people like me. Uh, people that look fine, are may or may not be able to work, um, but with difficulty. We feel like rubbish every single day, but you just cannot see it. Um, I've said so many times, the only person on the planet that knows that I'm having a bad day is my mum, because she will look in my eyes and see that they're vacant. I don't have to say, mum, I can't feel my arms. Mum, I've got no energy, I'm flatlining. She just has to look at my eyes and they're just dead. Um, yes, so just remember, the people you see in real life, out and about, doing their supermarket shop or um, going to someone's wedding with difficulty, um, you're only seeing them because they're well enough to be seen. You don't see them when they're flaked out in their, in their bedroom. Um, you know, with ear defenders on and sunglasses and covered with three blankets because they're so cold. You do not see that. It's exactly the same illness, but the level of severity is different. We've all got the same symptoms. Um, we've all gone through that diagnostic criteria. Um, it's just our symptoms are at different levels of severity. So I hope I've made that clear because quite a few people have said, hang on, I keep seeing um, articles in the newspaper about people dying from ME, from um, people that have been bed bound for 20 years and they've had a newspaper article written about them. Um, but that doesn't match the person that I see in work. That's why, it's the level of severity. And I think that adds to our fight on getting recognised. Um, because us 180 odd thousand still feel like rubbish. No, we're not bed bound but our lives are restricted by our illness. Um, and it's a dreadful illness for us. So then if you times that by 25, that's how bad it is for severely um, suffering people. Um, so yeah, so any research that's funded will benefit all of us, obviously, um, the whole 250,000, 17 million worldwide. Um, but yeah, you have to remember it's exactly the same illness. That's my point. Um, so, you know, I mean, even people that I chat to on Twitter, um, they'll say, oh, I've got brain fog worse than you, or I've got pain, because I've got a tiny bit of pain in my fingers, but not much. Um, but our symptoms are so different and they fluctuate. And we have good weeks and bad weeks, good days, bad days, good hours, bad hours. Um, so it's, it is difficult to see that it's the same illness, but it is. Um, so yes, yeah, so hopefully my May 12 articles that I've written for the Star and Crescent, um, they'll be online, so I'll be sharing them. Hopefully that will help to shed a little bit of more light on everything. Um, but no, I just, I think people see me as a bit of an expert now, but I do want you to remember I'm not a doctor, I'm not a researcher. Well, actually I am, but not in ME. Um, and I've learnt from day one. So um, when you guys pick me up on something and say, oh, I don't know if that's right, feel free to correct me because I'm learning in the same way that you guys are. Um, I have news. Instead of going to Ibiza, Foggy is now going to see the Emerge guys in Australia, which I'm really happy about, which means he's going to get to see two female CEOs in the space of a month. Um, one in South Africa and one in Australia. Um, yeah, so that will replace the Ibiza trip. And I'm very happy about that. I did connect with Emerge in the first world tour. Um, and now I'm going back that way again. So yeah, fabulous. Good times ahead. And that allowed 20,000 miles to our mileage, which is amazing. Much better than the 1,500 miles that we was going to have from going to Ibiza. So um Yes, so there you go, that's my news. Um, I think some people don't quite know what my background is. My background is I was a normal, <laughs> a normal office worker with no experience of ME whatsoever, apart from the fact I'd been diagnosed with it and not given any information whatsoever. Um, so yeah, so I hope that clears that up. I hope you all have a good day, depending on your, how your symptoms are doing and what your fluctuations are like. I'm okay at the moment, but I'm waiting for it to hit. So anyway, take care of yourselves.